In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Soliloquy slider. The first thing when you purchase your theme or you're updating your theme is to download the zip file uh, from my account. And then once it's on your de desktop, use zip extraction software to unzip that file. In this case, I've unzipped Curb Appeal Evolve. Um, all of the themes that have a slider have this the slider plugin inside a folder it's called plugins inside your theme zip file. You open up plugins and you'll see there's where the soliloquy um, zip file plugin is and also the license key is in a little text file there. So now we're going to go to our site. Now if you're updating um, you need to update your theme um, before you install the slider because the newest version of the theme has the code for this slider. So you just go to Dashboard Updates. And if your theme hasn't updated, it will show up here. You can just update here. If you've made any changes to the theme files, you need to save those changes before you update or you're going to lose them. Uh, you should never make changes to the theme's style sheet. You should make them under Appearance Custom CSS instead of directly to those theme files. That way you can update your theme. Okay, now we've already updated our theme, so now we're going to add the Soliloquy plugin. To do that, we're going to go to Plugins, Add New. We're going to select Upload, and we're going to upload it from that theme folder. So we're going to choose that file. Let's go to Curb Appeal Evolved. And then we're going to open up that plugin folder and we're going to select that Soliloquy zip file. And now we're going to click Install Now. Okay, now that's installed, we want to activate it. So let's click on Activate Plugin. Now that you've activated it, you'll now have a new menu item in your dashboard. So I'm going to scroll down and you'll see. Here's the menu item for Soliloquy. So we're going to go to Settings. So I'm going to select Settings, and this is where you copy and paste that license key that's in the text file. Once you've entered that key and click Verify Key, you can click on the Add-on tabs, and it will display all the add-ons that come with this zip file. Now, there's a number of uh, additional add-ons for all kinds of things you can add to a slider. Uh, I'm not going to go through that in this video. Uh, Soliloquy has some excellent documentation on how to do that. Um, you can just go to, pl to Plugins, Install Plugins, scroll down to Soliloquy, and click on the link that says Visit Plugin Site. Once you go to that Plugin Site, click on Docs, and you'll see how, here's all the documentation on how to set up your slider. Uh, some of the advanced features and down at the bottom is, I'm going to scroll down, is the documentation on the different add-ons. Uh, there's light boxes, there's a carousel add-on where you can create like a collage. Um, you can pull photos from Pinterest or Instagram, but you can view those once you put that license key in. Okay, now that we've installed that plugin, we're going to go ahead and create the slider for our theme. Uh, <clears throat> let me go to the home page and you'll see our home page it doesn't have any widgets yet. Uh, the menus aren't showing because it doesn't have the slider there yet. So we're going to do that now. Let's go back to our dashboard. Go to that soliloquy menu and click add new. Now we're going to give the uh, slider a name. I'm going to call this home page slider. Now below that there are three tabs, Images, Config, and Miscellaneous. We're going to start with Images, and we're going to select the images we're going to use in our slider. There we go. Now the images I'm going to use <coughs> are uh, about 1250 by 400. You want a panoramic shot that's very wide because this is a full width slider. So I'm going to select this image. And then I'm going to select a second image to use. There we go. So there's the two images we want in our slider. Now we need to go to the config tab because there's uh, some configuration we need to do. 
Uh, most of these settings you can leave as a default. There's just three settings we need to change. The first one is the slider dimensions. You want to change that from default to full width. And then enter dimensions. I'm going to enter 1920 by 575, but you can play around with this to what what suits your theme. Some themes provide, uh, need a slider. It's a little taller, uh, especially if it's got a search widget on top of it. Uh, so just tweak those um, width and height settings to suit your theme. Okay, the second setting we want to change is I'm going to scroll down to where it says slider gutter. This is the space between the slider and your secondary navigation menu or your content. The default is 20. We need to change that to 0. So we change that to 0. Now the third setting we want to change is show slider control nav. We want to disable this. Uh, otherwise it will put a space below your slider with the little buttons to navigate on the slides and you don't need that because we're using the slider arrows on the side. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and publish our slider. Okay, now let's close this. Now that we've published it, we can add it now to the slider widget area so it will show on our home page. So now we're going to go to Appearance Widgets. We're going to open up this slider widget area. Now we're going to scroll down and look for that soliloquy widget and drag it up to that slider widget area. Okay, so now that we moved it over there, we want to leave title blank and we want to select that slider we just created, which is the home page slider. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now that I've saved it, I can go to the front of my site and reload. And you'll see now I have the full width slider on my home page and now my navigation menus are showing up. And this is how you add the soliloquy slider to your theme.